A torrent of black water rushed down a valley into this village in Pakistan in 2022. 11-year-old Ali Mohammed was swept away in the floods. His mother, Zara Ramzan, said she does not want other families to go through what she did. Pakistan is among the countries at most risk from the devastating floods blamed on changing weather patterns and rising temperatures. In the north, melting glaciers pose a major threat to villages in the path of water from lakes that form nearby. There were 75 glacial lake bursts in 2022 alone, up from 14 in the period from 2018 to 2021. Himalayan glaciers are on track to lose up to 75% of their ice by the end of the century because of global warming. When glacial lakes overfill, natural dams that hold them back can fail, triggering deadly floods that wash away bridges, buildings and fertile land in northern Pakistan. Villagers say they get little information about the risks. But in the village of Hassanabad, Tariq Jamil is trying to change that. The community leader and 23 other volunteers monitor a nearby glacier and consult with outside experts and officials every summer. They are also trained in first aid and evacuation planning. बहुत ज्यादा खौफ रास था लोगों में लोगों को नहीं पता होता था कि हमने क्या करना है कहां जाना है कुछ भी नहीं तो उसके बाद फिर ग्रेजुअली लोगों का और गवर्नमेंट का एनजीओस का अटेंशन जब जू जू ही हमारे तरफ आया और मुझे चार पांच साल से कम्युनिटी के अंदर काम करने का मौका मिला है हमने बहुत कुछ खुद भी सीखा है और हमने कोशिश की है कि कम्युनिटी को भी थोड़ा सा अवेयर करें the village is part of the UN-backed Glacial Lake Outburst Flood 2 project. It has deployed weather stations and warning devices to protect communities downstream from melting glaciers. The system will eventually allow people to monitor data through their mobile phones. So it will help us uh, to uh, early warn the community if uh, the flood uh, or uh, glove uh, occurs, uh, then we will uh, inform, the community will inform well in time and uh, it will help to evacuate the community to the safer places uh, well in time. Such early warning systems will be needed soon, since studies predict flooding will worsen. Future prediction is that कि ये ग्लेशियर जो है मजीद पीछे चले जाएगा और ये जो झील जिसे जो है ना दरकुत ग्लेशियर झील कहा जाता है ये हर साल इसकी जो है विड्थ और इसकी जो है डेप्थ में इजाफा होता रहता है थ्रेट ये है कि डाउनस्ट्रीम कम्युनिटीज के लिए ये झील जो है ना बढ़ने की वजह से गर्मियों के मौसम में जो है ये फटने का खतरा है आउटब्रस्ट होने का खतरा है और डाउनस्ट्रीम जो पॉपुलेशन है वो 2010 और 2078 की तरह इफेक्टेड हो सकते हैं तो लिहाजा हमारे जो रिसर्च अब भी इस वक्त जारी है अंटिल देन इट्स अ रेस अगेंस्ट टाइम प्रोजेक्ट्स टू कंस्ट्रक्ट बैरियर वॉल्स एंड रीबिल्ड डिस्ट्रॉयड होम्स विद स्ट्रांगर मटेरियल आर करेंटली अंडरफंडेड as leaders are set to gather for the UN COP28 climate summit in November, pressure is growing on wealthy countries to fulfill pledges to help developing nations. The Green Climate Fund was short of its 10 billion US dollar target as of October. Wealthy nations, meanwhile, are due to meet a broader 100 billion US dollar climate finance pledge to developing countries in 2023. But the amount falls short of actual needs, estimated by the UN at over 200 billion US dollars annually by 2030. For residents of Hassanabad, it's the prospect of having to abandon the only home they've known that makes them determined to do all they can to save their village. We had a great experience at this house 
for 50, 50 to 100 years. If the disaster cut off this house, that we will shift to another place, that we will become very sad.